going guys, Nick here and today we're going to be doing an install overview of the carbon fiber trunk by Carbon Creations. I did an install video of it but unfortunately the footage was lost on my computer and it just wiped out my SD card so I'm going to be doing an install overview going over everything that happened when we were installing the trunk and uh, hopefully it'll help you guys if you're installing a carbon fiber trunk on your car. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to explain everything you have to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're installing the trunk and uh, taking the stock one off, there's spots here where the um, like the foam pad would go where it, where it covers all of this. Um, this has spots for the holes but they're not drilled so I didn't worry about putting it back in. But there are clips here, 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 and here. All of these spots that hold it in place. And a lot of people don't know that this car comes with a screwdriver and when you take it out and put it back in the opposite way and turn it around you have a clip popper, so you can pop the clips for like, say you want to do the springs on the car. You can pop out all those panels with, pop all the, the clips with this. So, pop out all the clips, take this down, and then your wires here are going to be installed up on these clips up here. You're going to want to pop them out, and so you can feed it down through, I don't know if I can see it on the camera, and I'll turn it. You take all these down, and you feed it down through this hole right here so that everything's disconnected and the trunk can come off. Um, the next thing you're gonna wanna do after you do that is put the camera down. There's um, a bolt here and a bolt here. They are both 12 millimeters and first, before you take them off, this is your piston that's, that um, pops your trunk open. You're gonna wanna take that same flathead and you prop up this little latch right here and it gets the piston to come off of the end of the, the arm that the trunk sits on and then you can take these bolts off. Uh, I recommend doing this with two people at least. You do the same thing on this side. If you do it with two people it's much easier because then you can have one person loosen on the other side and one person on the other and it makes everything much smoother. So once you get everything off the car, um, the part that holds your lock in place which is right here, there's two 8mm bolts on it and then it holds the face plate as well, there's an 8mm bolt there and another one right there um, it holds the, there's your lock, a lot of people don't know this car has a keyhole lock and um, that goes to the stock part, I did reuse the stock blue piece because I like the way it popped with the paint and it looked pretty nice so I kept it like that but you have to take 8mm bolts there's like four or five of them up there that you have to come off so that you can swap it onto the other trunk and then again feed the wires up through this hole down here all the way th up through here and then th that's pretty much all you have to do there when you're swapping everything back to the trunk um, then after you do all that all you have to do is bolt up the trunk back to the arms and put the pistons back on uh, right here the only problem that I had fitment wise with getting the trunk back put back on was uh, the hole here wasn't drilled far enough so we used washers right there as a space holder so that it would tighten down properly and when you put the pistons back on you all you have to do is just push it back over this little nipple thing that's on the arm do the same thing on this side and then everything is all good just screw everything back on and then we have to shut the trunk and we'll show you guys what it looks like so this is what it looks like on the car um, I'm pretty satisfied with the way this trunk turned out on the car. I um, you know my car has been in a pretty serious rear end collision before, so the fitment wasn't wasn't too bad for what it was. I had to adjust a little bit because this part here was rubbing off the tail light, this part right here, but everything else turned out pretty well. Um, again, I didn't have the nuts to drill through the trunk, not yet anyway. Maybe if this doesn't work out, but. My license plate is actually 3M double side sticky taped on and it's holding pretty well. Haven't had an issue with that. But that's pretty much all you have to do to install this trunk onto the car. It's pretty simple install with two guys. You can get it done in about an hour to an hour and a half depending on if you know exactly what you're doing or not. But I am very satisfied with the way this turned out on the car. I love the little subtle ducktail spoiler that it has which the stock trunk doesn't so yeah this is just uh what the trunk looks like on the car so you guys again that's about it uh, i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i apologize that the footage was lost on the actual install 
but I did want to give you guys some kind of video to show you how to do this on the car in case you wanted to do it yourself because it's really all not all that hard and if you have a friend to help you it'll only take you about an hour so uh, this is the uh, install overview of the carbon fiber trunk by carbon creations onto the BRZ or FRS and I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video